my name is Damia Shreem. I'm the monetization and user acquisition manager at Tomatim. I will be talking about the importance of managing whales in the Arab region. So an overview of my session. Uh, I will talk a general idea about Tomatim, about what we do exactly. Uh, I will explain uh, why to target the Arab market. I will talk a general idea about the behavior of an Arab user, how to attract these Arab users, and then how to manage these users. Then I will talk about whales, what are whales exactly, uh, how to manage whales, um, why are they important, and finally, why is it hard for foreign developers to enter the market. So, Tomatum is the leading mobile game publisher in the Arab-speaking market. Uh, we started in 2014, and we have 30 employees. We published so far 40 games. Uh, 35 of these games have reached number one in the top charts, and we have around 50 million downloads worldwide. So what we do exactly is that we partner with the international game developers to localize and publish their game uh, in the Arab-speaking market. We do everything from localization, where we localize all of the game assets, to monetization, where we do tailored promotions and uh, tournaments for our users, we do marketing through, we do user acquisition through performance marketing, through influencer marketing. We have localized 24 seven community support for our users. And of course, we have 24 seven waves management, which I will discuss more later in the session. So why target the Arab market? Well, Arabic is the fourth most spoken language in the world. There are only less than 1% of content uh, online that is uh, in Arabic. Also, there are 360 million uh, Arabic smartphone users. And in 2022, it is expected to become a $2.3 billion industry. Uh, as from last year, we have seen 26% growth uh, in the gaming uh, industry only. And also, the Arab region has the highest average revenue per paying user in the world. So saying that, Saudi Arabia actually has the highest average revenue per paying user in the world. So Saudi Arabia, for example, has an average revenue per paying user um, eight times higher than China. The reason for that is that users in the Arab-speaking market love uh, social elements in the game. They are extremely, extremely competitive, and uh, they love to consume localized content. So a general idea about Arab users and how they behave. So Arab users tend to stick to one or two games. They are very attached to their language and to their culture. Um, they love to consume games in their original language. We always uh, have to attract uh, these users and keep them engaged. So a lot goes into acquiring, managing, and, uh, uh, acquiring, managing and attracting uh, these users. So it's not only about uh, translating the game, it's about localizing the game from A to Z. So this is how we attract our users. As I said, by localizing our game, so we have to change all of the game assets. So what we do is that we change all of the characters, the environment, we change the music, we change the voiceovers, and of course the text translation. So an example of text translation. In Hollywood movies and translated games, you would see the Arabic uh, that the letters are disconnected and it's from left to right. When the basics of the Arabic language is that the letters are connected and it's from right to left and not from left to right like other languages. Also, it's very important to always localize the character. For example, this character does not represent the Arabic culture and so it's culturally unacceptable. This character also, you're overdoing it, and this might upset or insult Arabic users, so you always have to find a middle ground such as this character, where users will not be offended, so the character here is not very revealing and is not very conservative at the, at the same time. So how to manage these users? So now that we attracted our users, we, find, we must ha find the best way to manage these users. So we have um, localized 24-7 community support, um, for our users. Our community support, not only they speak the same language, but also they speak, uh, they speak different dialects with our users. So what I mean with that is that all Arabic countries speak Arabic, yes, but they speak different Arabic. So for example, Moroccan Arabic is very different than Saudi Arabic. So our community 
uh, managers or so, uh, community support talk with our users uh, according to their dialects. We have dedicated Facebook and Instagram pages for all of our games, and this is more for our users to engage with one another. Also, we have localized wikis and dedicated forums. So why is it important uh, to manage our users? So we always get feedback from our users, whether it's negative or positive feedback. We help them solve their problems if they're facing any problems. We always try to keep our users engaged with our Facebook and Instagram pages. We keep them updated if there is a next update or if there is a special event for any of our games. And also answer any question that they might have. So now that I've talked about users and what are users, uh, we'll talk about uh, whales and what are whales. So whales are users who are very engaged in the game and also are top spenders. So a user can be defined as a whale uh, depending on their spending behavior, depending on the game genre, and depending on the region. So of course you can know a user by a whale on their spending behavior, and all, that also depends on the genre of a game. So for example, an RPG game, a user who spends in an RPG game is also different than a user who spends in a casual game, so you have to know uh, the spending behavior and the game genre. So why whales are important? Although they make up to less than 1% uh, of our user base or any game's user base, but they generate around 90% of the game's revenue. So we always have to understand the behavior of our users and the behavior of our whales. So how to manage our whales? With our whales, we give them VIP treatment. We have for them 24-7 dedicated account managers. Also, they speak the same language, different dialects. We have 24-7 dedicated phone number for them where they can call, text, or WhatsApp our account managers any time of the day. And the reason for that is that uh, users in Saudi Arabia or in Kuwait love to communicate uh, through WhatsApp, through voice notes. So we always try to provide the easiest way of communication for our users. Also, our account managers are always in contact with all of our VIP users, even users who don't have any question or any concern. Uh, they keep checking up on them if there is anything wrong with the game or why they are not engaged anymore with the game. This has helped to build relationships between our account managers and between our VIP users. So also we manage our whales through doing special tournaments and promotions. With tournaments, we do them based on if we have a special uh, uh, event or an occasion. And we name that tournament based on that event or that occasion. Also, what we do most of the times is that we name the tournament based on our top users. So these tournaments get uh, to be named after our top user. And the engagement you get in these, term uh, in these tournaments are huge because the, they have a huge fan base, so most of the users participate in that tournament just because it's named after our top users. We do also promotions where we segment our users based on their spending behavior, based on how engaged in their game, but our VIP users get tailored VIP um, promotions, such as this promotion where you get higher percentage, higher value, and of course you have to localize the currency for them, so this currency is in Saudi Arabia. So why is it important to manage our whales? So it's very important to manage our whales because uh, they tend to be very involved in the game. So they give us the best feedback um, on how to improve the game. Uh, they give us creative ideas on, for example, what the next update should be about. So this has shown a significant increase in our revenue in all of our games. This has shown better conversion and higher retention on all of our games. So finally, why is it hard for foreign developers to enter the market? As I said, the language is very difficult. Culture and religion is very sensitive. And user acquisition is more scattered than the West. Uh, so we do more on traditional marketing, such as influencer marketing. Also, we have localized 24-7 community support for all of our users. And we have 24-7 uh, whales management for our VIP users. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Um, I had a question about when you were saying you name tournaments after your big spenders. Yeah. Does that mean that, for example, if you are the big spender of the month, then the tournament will be named the Lamia tournament? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Usually, uh, they are top spenders, but these are the top users. So 
other users will not know that these are the top spenders. So what we do is that this is our top user, and this segment is named after him. Because most of our games, our users know who are our top users. So they have a huge fan base. So does it motivate other users to be at the first place? Exactly. In and Hi, Lamia. Hi. Uh, when you talk about monetization, is uh, on the in-app purchase or ads? And if you use ads, uh, are the ads uh, um, localized also for that specific language or culture? Yeah. So uh, recently, all of our publishing games don't have any ads. Um, we have only one game that has rewarded videos, but we, uh, we don't really focus about uh, if the ads are localized or not. But we always keep a track on what ads are displaying, what ads should be blocked. So, but now ads are not our biggest concern, so monetization is 95% is through in-app purchases. Great talk. Uh, are the genres that are popular in the Middle East similar to the ones popular here, or genres like social casino not allowed? Social casino is not allowed. So what's allowed is card games that does not have any gambling in it. Um, it's very popular in the, in the Arab region, so Arabs love cards, um, but gambling, uh, unfortunately, is not acceptable. Hi, um, you say that you contact your users through WhatsApp. Yes. Uh, how do you collect the phone numbers? How do you get in touch with them? And do you ever have the problem of privacy and they don't want to give away uh, yes, of course. their details? So our VIP users are very, very, very engaged in the game. So they actually want us to communicate with them. So our account managers are dedicated for these users. There are around 50 users who are our top VIP users. And most of them want us to talk to them. They want to give us uh, ideas. Uh, they love to be part of the game. So this does not bother any of our VIP users. Hey, uh, I have a question regarding influencers. Do you see them bringing you whales, or is it more younger population, which is usually not whales? Yeah, with, with influencer marketing, we actually get whales from them. Um, it's something what we're working on. So we do performance marketing th through Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, but we focus mainly now on influencer marketing. And which channels? Is it YouTube mostly, or which uh, channels? Uh, all channels. YouTube, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram. Do you have any success uh, doing cross-promotion uh, of your game with, uh, with the whales, actually? Yeah. So uh, what we, we do actually have uh, success in doing cross-promotion. Um, so what we are doing now is that we had a cards game, and we had uh, a new cards game which was launched two months ago. And we did a cross-promotion between these two games, and it was a huge success. Um, but we don't usually do uh, so much cross-promotion. It depends on the game or like uh, the situation of the game. These sorts of uh, customers. Yeah. Uh, it's good that we didn't see any huge mistakes, but uh, sometimes uh, an account manager might maybe upset a user, but it happened um, maybe once. It never happened again, but you learn from your mistakes. You see how to communicate with our users. You always want to keep our users satisfied. Thank you. Um, regarding special offers or promotions or something like this, and if you do, does it bring you any problems in the social, uh, yeah, social networks? Because, uh, I, I don't know, it's it shared that they get better offers than other users. Yeah. So all of our users get promotions. Uh, we always have promotions for all of our users. It depends on what segment. But our whales get uh, a, like a VIP treatment where they get promotions that they ask for. So we always try to give them the best promotion um, possible. But our other, like all users get promotions, so no one gets upset. Is there a single thing or a set of things that you find is the most motivational towards these whales in terms of promoting purchasing behavior? Uh, what are the... You know, when you hold tournaments, uh, you have special deals, for example. Which of these do you find are the most effective? Yeah, so we always A-B test with our whales. Uh, it's very interesting. So we always try to give them different prices, different promotions. 
uh, and we try to understand the mentality of our users and our VIP users. If not, well, then uh, thank you, Lamia. Yeah. We are going to uh, do a technical transition over, and thank you very much for the informative talk. Thank you guys.